Hi Gemini, welcome to your new love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Gemini, these, this is still the singles reading. I just changed it to a new love reading. It's still intended for singles, wondering why new love may come to them, their next date, their next um, significant relationship, their next lover, whatever have you here. Still intended for singles, wondering about a new person, new love coming into them. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. And I guess, you know, take it how it resonates uh, for you. So please keep that in mind. Um, if you are connected to somebody, but you're not together, so technically you are single, I do have love readings up on my channel for May. They are love connection readings, and they took, take a look at a connection between you and another, whether you're together or not. So feel free to watch those also. Links are below in the description box general and love playlist you'll find uh the love readings in the love uh playlist so feel free to check out the description box below tons of stuff down there and if you're new and um you like my style how i read check out my channel like what you see subscribe hit the bell you won't miss out all that good stuff you get about four or five readings a month and if you do thank you so gemini hope everybody's staying well and healthy and safe so Gemini new love so I'm still doing the same sort of uh, format it's just a little bit different you can let me know in the description box how you like this new format we still will look at this person's energy but then we'll look at how you would feel about each other in the connection uh, possible obstacles challenges and then advice guidance possible outcome if I do see a time frame or maybe where or how you could meet this person I'll throw that in and for signs I'm just going to go by the uh, kings and queens so it's not so confusing so okay Gemini let's get into it here so with this deck here we're going to look at this person's energy this deck here like their spirit their soul kind of energy this deck will look at their love energy how they feel about love they view love uh, how they are in love so we'll sort of get like a broad uh perspective of this person and then we get to the tarot and we'll clarify all the energy all right Gemini sun moon rising Venus male or female general collective new love incoming love for a Gemini wondering about new love what is this person's energy like all right for Gemini I'm gonna pull all three first and then we'll look at the energy and then we'll get into the tarot for Gemini what is the spirit soul energy new love coming into Gemini for Gemini singles new love something like Venus male or female general collective spirit please thank you so much what is the spirit and soul energy of a new person, new love, coming in to Gemini? So let's take a look at their love energy. Their love energy. What is their love energy like? What is their love energy like? Our Gemini, General Collective, Someone Rising Venus, male or female. Spirit, please thank you so much. New love coming into Gemini. What? Oh, that's two. I just want one. What is their love energy like, please, Spirit? Thank you so much for Gemini Singles New Love. One card. Oh, we got two, but I'm going to take that one. All right. Let's see what we have for you, Gemini Singles New Love. We have three Reach Out. So this is the Three of Pentacles energy. So this is an energy of waiting. <laughs> Patiently waiting for a ship to come in. So this person is patiently waiting for something in their life. They're waiting for that opportunity, that ship, something to come in. So they're waiting for something here. So we'll see when we get into the tarot. So this is a broad perspective of their energy. Sometimes I get something they're going through, what they've been through here. So when we get into the tarot, we'll see. So what is this spirit soul energy like? We have... Sedna, infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. This person may be waiting on some sort of settlement. Like um, a financial settlement or something like that. Because the pentacles are about, you know, monetary or something like that. So, and with being supplied for all of their tomorrows, I feel like they're waiting on something. A settlement or something here or money or something here where they know once they get this that they'll be like they won't have to worry they will not have to worry so they're waiting for something here that's coming to them it could be um it could be anything it could be an inheritance 
something here. Maybe they won the lottery. I don't know. All right, so we do have here uh, slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. Nine is about uh, a single energy. It's about coming to a completion. This person could, I feel like when they like somebody, they don't hesitate. And I feel like they want things to progress quickly. So they may have a habit of not like, going with the flow and just seeing where it goes. They may be very, um, maybe they're kind of impatient. Like they, they, you know, are like right on it, like right up in there. And they just don't have the patience to like slow down and go with the flow and just let it unfold naturally. So, and this is what they could be waiting for, but I'm getting with this energy too. They could be somebody who won't make the first move either. I feel like they could be somebody that waits for other people to reach out to them. So they may not be, they could be kind of shy, timid, or um, although with this energy of needing to slow down, I don't think they're shy or timid in that aspect when it comes to love. But in other areas of their love, they may, uh, love their life, they may be somebody who does not like take control or the lead very well, or, um, you know, maybe they don't like being in the spotlight. You know, they, like to kind of keep quiet. They could be shy. They could be timid. Um, you know, they may lack like speaking up for themselves also kind of energy. I feel like they wait for others. They don't like take the lead or they'll or reach out. You know, they wait for others to reach out to them. Oh, okay. So let's clarify these energies for you, Gemini. Because you see this person kind of just laying there. <laughs> So let's see, they may have a bad habit of like not standing up for themselves either, which may cause, you know, people to walk all over them also. All right, so let's clarify. But when it comes to love, I think they have a total different energy when it comes to someone they're interested or love. I think that's like totally different. And maybe that's where they compensate, like for other areas where they lack in their life, where they don't take control or lead or anything like that. But when it comes to love or somebody they like, I feel like they're all right up in there and they don't hesitate and they don't give up and they don't like to uh, have things move slowly when they just need to let uh, things unfold naturally, go with the flow. It's like, okay, I like this person and we got to be committed now. <laughs> you know, the nine is almost 10 where there's a full circle completion. So it's like, oh, I like you. Okay, so now let's get married. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so, okay, that's pretty extreme. So let's see. I And I see that. I see this person is like two extremes to the point where they're just sitting there and they don't take action to where when it comes to love and someone they like, it's the total opposite. So it's like two extremes. All right, so let's see here. Uh, let's clarify this energy. But they're waiting on something, infinite supply. So they're either wealthy or they're waiting, they could be waiting, like I said, on inheritance, settlement, or something where they know once this comes to them, they'll, you know, be pretty well off, I feel. But they won't have to worry too much. All right, so let's clarify this energy. That's way too many for Gemini about this person. Spirit, please. The star. Yeah, they're hoping and they're wishing on the, the staying hopeful and optimistic. Something divinely guided is coming to them. And it's their wish dream come true. It's meant to be. Whatever they're getting is meant to be. So they're hopefully waiting for this to come in. It's very healing energy. All right. So what else? What else? Page of Wands. Yeah, they're waiting for the good news to come in. That's what I felt. Page of Wands energy. That will spark something here. Uh Brand new beginning of some kind. It's very exciting. It's passionate. If it's not, it could be a new job or something exciting. Uh, this is entrepreneurship energy with the Ace of Wands, a creative new idea, a new spark. Um, passionate, fiery new beginnings. So they're waiting on something here. Good news of some kind of either, you know, okay, let's going to start a new business or something where they know... Uh, they could be wealthy or something here. So, all right, so let's get a few more. Let's get a few more. 
wow, the Knight of Pentacles energy. So it's taken a while here, but Pentacles is about money, you know, monetary material, but which will lead to their happiness, their joy, their success, their victory, uh, healing, enlightenment, you know, happy home and family. So, wow, most positive card in the deck. It's taken a long time. Whatever they're waiting for, it's taken a heck of a long time with the Knight of Pentacles energy, but they know once it comes in, once they receive the good news, they know it's theirs. They know they have it. It's divinely guided to them. They're staying optimistic, even though it's taking forever. And they have like a whole new lease on life with this Ace of Wands, like a whole new start in life, which will lead to the happiest card here for, the, for them. So they know this is like a golden opportunity that will bring them so much wealth, prosperity, stability, their, you know, total happiness and joy, the star and the sun. So whatever this is they're waiting for, it's coming to them. It is. It's just taking a very, very long time. It could like, be, like I said, a settlement, an inheritance, um, a new job, starting a new business. I don't know, something here where they do have wealth coming to them in the, in the long run and being very, very successful. Okay. So, but I also feel like there's someone that, like, maybe they need to, you know, speak up to rush this along and they're not doing it. You know, they're not speaking up. They're just kind of sitting there, oh, la, 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 you know. So I feel like this person needs to speak up. I don't feel like there's someone, could be male or female, you know, I don't feel like they speak up. So I just saw the King of Pentacles. So definitely uh, it's a good sign. All right, so let's see, Gemini, how you would feel about this person, Gemini. Let's get, oh, it's way too, all right, we'll take these three. So we have the Seven of Pentacles may have to wait for this person <laughs> this is about patience and waiting and should i invest should i not invest nine of cups that's a happiness wish fulfillment and then the knight of swords this is like an energy of rushing rushing right in we have two opposing energies here of rushing right in but yet patiently waiting <laughs> but then we have happiness and joy here so I think you're going to know this you, This person's going to want to rush this along very, very quickly. But the Nine of Cups is also, Nine is also a single energy. So we have Nine, Nine, so two single energies here. But I feel like you, you're going to be like, okay, can we slow this down a little bit? You know, they may want to like be like committed right away. And you're like, wait a minute, you know, still kind of single here. Can we just like date, see how this goes, you know, so we know whether or not we want to invest in this in the future or not? So that's kind of what I'm getting, how you're going to feel about this person. But you will feel happiness and joy with them. But not to the point where, okay, I want to commit right now. Not with the Seven of Pentacles energy. So you may tell them, okay, can you slow it down a little bit? Because <laughs> that Knight of Swords, some is just like rush, rush, rush. And that's that energy that I had felt. So let's see how this person will feel about you. I feel like you will feel happy. You know, you'll have a good time with them and you'll feel happy with them. Whether or not you'll feel like totally in love and enamored, I don't know. But we do have the cups there. So let's see. I think this could have the potential. So let's see how they will feel about you. Oh, the hanging man. So, okay. I feel like that needs to be reversed because I don't think this is someone that likes to hang around. Let's see with two more where this goes. So now we have the Temperance and we have the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands here can be um, Aries. So we have Aries so far. But Temperance here, they're, they're going to feel like you're their soulmate. Because the Hangman is about enlightenment and new perspectives and, you know, taking, uh, you know, step back. I think that's going to be hard for them to do. I think you're going to tell them that, you know, they're going to want to rush forward, but you're going to tell them, hey, let's slow down. You know, let's just go out, have a good time, you know, and I think you'll have happy, good times with this person. So this person will try to balance out their energies here with the temperance energy. Um, but the queen of wands is a very fiery, passionate, king or queen, doesn't matter. Very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of person. And I felt that when it comes to connections and love, they like to move, you know, forward very, very quickly in their connections. So like I said, that Queen of Wands is very fiery, passionate, go-getter, a lot of drive, ambition, like they want it, they want it now. So this person's going to learn how to, so it's minor for you. You do have patience. You can see how it goes, go with the flow. 
you do have that energy and i think you're going to tell this person when they come rushing in okay you know let's take it slow slow down so i think it's maybe a challenge for them to like balance out their energies and slow down but i think they will i think they will as much as they want to drive this forward uh, but they're going to feel like the temperance angel here usually brings the soulmates together you know healing balance patience um i think they will they will try to be patient i think they'll try to be and try to hold back their energy but they're still going to want to rush <laughs> as much as they know you want to take it slower they're still deep down still want to you know rush this quickly so i do see here um summer and fall energy you can meet them at a bar you know just out with friends once we're all you know social again all right so let's see here let's see here uh any blockages with this connection so we have the three of pentacles so that's an energy of working on it teamwork collaboration so that may be a little bit of an obstacle is taking it slow you know collaborating and teamwork because i feel like you're going to want to go slower and then going to want to move faster so the knight of cups is moving forward in love which may halt this from moving forward in love because the knight of cups here you know rushing in with a love offer moving forward in love all right so so I feel two opposing energies here. Seven of Swords energy. So that could be an energy of, you know, sneaking away, self-deceit or deceit lies. I don't, I don't, I don't know if there are going to be lies and deceit here. I don't feel that. Uh, let's see. Let's get a couple more. Ace of Pentacles. So this does have opportunity here for a long-term partnership, stable new beginning, built on a firm foundation, firm foundation for the long term. So that opportunity, and there's the offer right there, is here. King of Cups now. So now we have Pisces. So we have Pisces and Aries so far. So I feel like we have a matching couple here. King, oh, no, we don't. That's Wands and that's Cups. But the King of Cups, usually, you know, there's a lot of emotions and feelings. Sometimes he doesn't always say what's on his, you know, how he truly feels. But the blockage here, I feel, will be be the opposite. This person is just going to blurt everything out. I love you, and then, you know, and just, like, go overboard, like, too much too soon, which will halt the stable new beginning. Could be a lifelong partner, but they may screw it up, which may cause somebody to run here. Because uh, someone here, yeah, I feel like instead of holding back and just seeing where it goes, they're going to, like, blurt out everything they feel, they want, they, you know which will block this Ace of Pentacles. Somebody may run from the situation here, um, which will prevent this from moving forward in love because of not being able to, you know, compromise, teamwork, collaboration, you know, taking it slow. Oh boy. Okay, so let's see what the advice, guidance could be. Advice, guidance, possible outcome for this connection for our Gemini. So we have the high priestess so this is the energy of holding back not revealing everything but listening to your gut your intuition so if somebody here can listen to their gut their intuition their higher knowing and hold back then this could move forward very passionately excitingly um could move forward you know the knights to me aren't as fast as the swords uh, but they're faster than the cups and the pentacles so this could move forward you know at a fair pace uh, if people can learn to hold back and just follow their gut and their intuition about uh, this connection. So what else? What else? Oh, we got two more. Wow. So holy... <laughs> the lovers and the hierophant. So this does have the opportunity for soulmate, twin flame union, partnership, commitment, marriage, long-term, faith, spirituality spiritual connection here between two especially with the high priestess the hierophant and the lovers so the advice is for someone here to hold back just to hold back trust their gut their intuition and this will move forward very fiery passionately between soulmate spiritual 
spiritually connected soulmate twin flames but that's going to be a challenge uh i feel this person incoming person for you gemini i mean you may be looking for love or something new but you're more in in the uh energy of okay i'm ready to go with the flow just get out there what happens happens but yet i don't want to rush any, into anything too quickly and this person's like once they like someone it's like almost like i don't know infatuation or you know, I want it, I want it now, let's, you know, move in, let's be committed, let's, you know, you know, be together 24-7, and you're like, uh, no, that's like too much too soon, so if that energy can be balanced out, and this person can learn how to hold back and slow down, this does have the opportunity for, you know, a long-term soulmate connection here, very spiritually connected. I've been getting that a lot in these new love readings, so let's see here. Uh, so I did say here we have uh, Pisces, we have Aries so far. Uh, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Death, yeah. So this is an ending of some kind, but transformation. Ten of Swords. So someone's been through a hurtful ending here. Whether it was you or them, it could be you, Gemini, and that's why you're in the energy of, you know, okay, I'm ready to get back out there, but I want to take it slow, see where it goes, and I don't want, really want to rush into anything. I just want to take my time because maybe someone's been through a very painful ending, but they've transformed and ready to come out of that energy, get back out there. Yeah, because they've healed, they're ready to go, you know, they've gone to a better place, they've healed, they're ready to move on to something new. Knowing value, worth, emperor, empress doesn't matter here knowing what they're worth and knowing uh they can be this emperor and empress having truth and clarity brand new beginning successful victorious new beginning epiphany aha moment you know being at a crossroads for a while here but ready you know to get back out of there with the page of pentacles taking it slow and steady accepting offers dates you know getting to know coffee date or whatever here slow steady So might have been stressed and worried for a time, but ready to receive new justice here. So I feel like that could be you, Gemini. But we do have long-term commitment here, soulmate, twin flame in the future. So that's what I see, Gemini. So, you know, take your time, do what you feel is best for you, go with the flow, get, you know, if you're ready to get back out there when we all can and put yourself back out there. Uh, you may meet this person and, you know, you may like them. I think you'll like them, but I think this person is going to be totally like enamored with you. Feel like, oh my God, this person's my soulmate. And you may be more like, okay, I like you. You know, I have fun with you and you know, I'm happy when I'm with you, but can we just, just see where this goes? Not like rush this too soon. But I do see here, this does have the opportunity to be a lifelong partner soulmate here. If this person can learn to go with the flow like you. you they need to be more like you go with the flow and slow down their energy but i do feel like they're waiting for something here once they get this whatever it is uh, they're going to be financially set but outside of love i feel like this person's very passive i guess kind of energy so it's like two extremes like there's two extremes to this person in a way Oh, okay, Gemini, um, sending you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.